there are times when we listen to music and we might not recognize who the artist is. Sometimes we never know who sings a certain song. Sometimes it just plays on the radio and you sing along and you move on. Sometimes you add it to your playlist and for the life of you, you cannot figure out who that person is. Well, these are times where I listened to an artist before I even knew who they were. And it wasn't until later on that I came to the realization. Has this ever happened to you? It's happened to me a ton. And today I'm going to talk about a few instances. Starting this list off with one I find especially embarrassing. It's bad enough that I didn't realize that this was a root song at first. It's compounded by the fact that I didn't know that Miss Baidu was the one that was actually singing the hook. This was a song that I heard often and didn't think too much of the components. I later found out it was a root song, but somehow missed Erica Baidu? Oh, How sweet! It's pretty obvious when you listen to it now, but I seriously didn't notice. I found out way too late that it was her, and when the feature showed up somewhere in the credits, I was both parts shocked and humiliated. But now I'm keenly aware that it's her, so all sins are forgiven. Right? This next one fits the scenario that I described earlier. It was a song that I heard all the time, my friends played it, but I never really knew who the artist was. This is an instance of listening to a song by a proxy. Huh? Basically, the song was up by Post Malone, I pretty much only listened to whenever my friends played it. I mean, I liked the song well enough, but I never added it to my own collection. I just listened to it when they played it, and that was that. Once White Iverson dropped, I was hooked. I played the hell out of that song. And because I did, somehow, other songs by Post Malone were suggested to me. Nothing wrong with that. And as it turns out, What's Up was actually one of his songs. I was pleasantly surprised to say the least. I added it to my playlist and acted as though I've known it the entire time. Now this next one is one that I used to hear at the function all the time. This one came on the cusp of YG's initial introduction to me. It's YG and Ty Dolla Sign's Tooted and Booted. I initially heard this song because my friend told me that YG had some bangers so I went ahead and checked them out. I was not disappointed. And if you know anything about this particular song, you know they played it at just about every house party around the time of its release. This song resonated with me for a long time and I thought the person singing on the hook was just a rando. Unlike the distinct sound of Baidu's voice, I feel like this version of Ty Dolla Sign was still working to develop his signature style. I didn't find out it was him until an interview where he talked about how important this song was to his career. I went back and listened and sure enough, you can definitely hear him. It's cool to know that there was a time when he was pretty much unrecognizable to me and now I play his songs constantly. I know it's kind of hard to imagine now, but there was a time when Kanye West was relatively unknown. Okay, if you were around during the download craze, you remember sites like LimeWire and Kazaa, which were pretty much virus factories for your computer. Somewhere in those viruses, if you were lucky enough, you might be able to find a song, a movie, or <clears throat> other things. The point being is that you never knew what you were going to get when you downloaded something. That being the case, you were just happy to get what you were looking for when you found it. I, um, let's say tactically acquired a song called The Bounce by Jay-Z. There was an artist featured on there and I liked his verse. The name on there was like Kenta West or something like that. And to me, he was just another rando. I didn't really pay it any mind. It was just another feature in my eyes. It wasn't until Kanye came out with his solo projects that I started to understand that he was the one featured on the song. I was surprised because he actually makes references to Chicago, talks about the beats he produced, and has that signature tongue-in-cheek approach that we've grown accustomed to from him. It was at this moment that I realized that Kenta West was none other than Kanye West the whole time. It was cool to find out that I had been listening to him for years before his actual debut and I had 
zero idea. But that's going to do it for this one. Go ahead and drop a like if you feel so inclined. And thank you guys for watching. Let me know of some artists that you didn't exactly recognize at first. I'll catch you guys in the next one.